Captain Hawkins. Looks like Raiders coming. Get under cover. Don't shoot till I give the order. Good to see you again. Buenos dias, Capitan. You looking fat and sassy, Miguel. What have you done? Married the Commandante's cook? No, but I'm afraid I will if I'm not careful. <laughs> we thought you were raiders at first. You know, it's rather unusual for an acordada to cross the border. Better an acordada than outlaws. John, unless you keep these American bandits on your side of the line, you're going to have serious trouble. Yes, I know, Thomas. Come on inside and rest yourself. Gracias. You. Look after our friends, boys. They must be pretty tired and hungry. Sit down. Well, what happened? Another raid? Yeah. They looted the Santa Ines mine a few hours ago. We trailed them, but as usual, we lost the trail at the border. This can't go on, John. My people become bitter, and unless these attacks end, they may take matters in their own hands. I know. It's funny. Carson and I had planned to visit you tomorrow. You see folks over here are also being raided, but by bandits from your side of the border. And they're becoming bitter. I've had my hands full the last few days keeping them in line. And it's been some job, believe me. Those ranchers are plenty riled. Have you any idea who these Mexican raiders are? Nope. Not any more than you have about the American outlaws. <laughs> They seem to be enjoying themselves. John, you and I for many years have been very close friends and have worked for better understanding between our people. Unless we put an end to these raids, all our good work will be wasted. I know, Tomas. We won't let that happen. We've got to corral those bandits, every last one of them. It would give me great pleasure. But how can we do it? We don't know who they are, where to hunt them. They seem to vanish in thin air. Well, the way it stands now, neither your men or mine can cross the border freely. Even if they could, they'd be recognized. What we need is someone new in this particular section of the country. A civilian who can operate on both sides of the border. That's a great idea. But who? I can't think of anyone. Let's see. There's Jones, Burkett, Cassidy. That's the man. Do you think he'll help us? Positive. Never known him to turn down a friend. Sounds like a man after my own heart. Get in touch with him at once. And what's more, I'd like him to be my guest. I'll have him go straight to your ranch. That's perfect. Well, John, goodbye for the present. Goodbye, Thomas. Goodbye, Carson. Goodbye, Thomas. Buenos dias, senorita. Hagami el favor de discern me. John Desta. La oficina del apagado. Elizalde. Yo. What are you mumbling in your beard about, California? I ain't mumbling. I'm just brushing up my Spanish. Oh, so that's what it was. Sounded more like baby talk to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know I talk Spanish just as good as I do English. Whoever said you spoke English? Now, Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only man I ever knew that was ignorant in two languages. <laughs> well, thanks, Breezy. It's easy if you stop. Go on! <laughs> <laughs>
Hoppy, I guess I've had enough. Yeah. Looks like somebody was expecting us. <laughs> Did you see me get that one with old Lulu? Sure. Oh, you never even touched the Jasper. He stumbled and fell just as you fired. Don't pay really attention to him. He's just feeling his own. Yeah, he'll feel the front end of my boots if he ain't more careful. <laughs> I have taste better. But I made them specially for you. Not so bad, not so bad. But I have taste better. Doesn't it get them? Carregatos. Kaya. Woman, can a man eat without being annoyed by you, children? Muchachitos, no lo molesten. But Mama, can we stay here? Your ears look so funny when they wiggle. So, I am to be insulted by the children of the woman who I'm going to marry? Uh, but Miguel, my Pepito didn't mean any harm. No? No, Miguel, no. I think I he did. Muchachos, mafiados, ya lo ven. Pero ya se fue, ya se... Papá. Ale. Senor Gonzalez, home? May I ask who wants to see him? I'm Gonzalez. Do you wish to see me? Tengo al gusto de conocerle, comandante. Muchas gracias. I'm Hopalong Cassidy. The pleasure's mine, Senor Cassidy. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Thank you. These are my two partners, California Carlson and Breezy Travers. Tanto gusto, senores. Harry, I want you to meet my daughter, Dolores. How do you do? And Doña Luis and her son, Bob. How do you do? How do you do? Say, I think I'm going to like it around here. Take care of the horses, Miguel. Sí, si, senor. You boys must be very tired and hungry after your long trip. Well, I ain't never too tired to eat. Yeah, he's never too tired to sleep either. That goes for him, too. <laughs> Come, boys, I'll show you to your rooms. Captain Hawkins holds a very high opinion of your abilities, Senor Cassidy. Ah, you mustn't believe all he says about me. Buenos dias, senorita. Buenos dias, senor. Uh, yo me, uh, uh, I mean, uh, esta comida... Uh, gosh, that grub sure smells good. You like to eat? Well, I like to... <laughs> I could do with a little snack. Siéntese. Yeah, I'll get out. No, 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 no. Sit down. Uh, oh, oh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, that's different, gracios. Gracios. You like this. Sure. No, you feel them. Oh. Sacate granos caballos que traen hambre y agua. Here. Ah, oh, fried chicken, huh? Hot eat. Am I going to surprise my stomach? Mm. She sure can cook, can't she? Pretty good. Your kid? No. No, oh, they're mine, senor. Oh. They're fine looking buns. Wish I'd some like them myself. You can have them. Well, you 
you look like different men since you freshened up. Well, a little soap and water does make a difference. This is a beautiful place. Yeah, she sure is. Would you like to look around the hacienda? Dolores would be very glad to show you. Would I? <clears throat> well, that is, it wouldn't be too much trouble for her. Oh, it'd be a pleasure. Your friend seems to find it quite interesting here, Mr. Cassidy. No, I can't say that I blame him. She's a very pretty girl. Thanks, you're very kind. Do you play chess? Oh, sort of. Let's try a game. Fine. Ah, uh -huh. all set up here, huh? <laughs> Did Captain Hawkins explain the situation fully in his letter? Well, uh... Oh, that's quite all right. You may talk freely. Doña Luis and Bob are practically members of the family. Oh. They've been living with us since the death of her husband. I see. Well, he gave me quite a bit of information, but I'd be glad to hear anything you might add. Well, you see, we've been having this race for the past few months, and this... This is the well my great-grandfather dug by himself many years ago. It's very deep. As deep as the blue in your eyes? You're not very observing, senor. My eyes are black. Oh, so they are. Well, black or blue, they're certainly pretty. You know, senorita, you speak my language beautifully. Oh, why shouldn't I? I was brought up by Doña Luis since I was six years old. Vayanse a jugar, mis hijitos. Vayanse al patio. Venga, vayan a jugar. Andale, andale, vayanse a jugar. That's the best meal I've had in 40 years. Since I was a kid. Huh? 30 years ago. Gracias. I'm glad you like it. James. Where's her husband? Her husband? He was away in Mexico City. He was killed about a year ago. Killed, huh? Yeah. Outright. Too bad, too bad. Well, that's all I want to know. Hmm. There is a real gentleman for you. Why? Because he eats like a horse? Because he likes my food and he likes my babies, too. And that is why I was given authority to organize an acordada. But up till now, we have accomplished nothing. I see. Tell me, who beside yourself and your family knew that I'd been sent for? Well, I uh, did tell Miguel. He's been with me for many years. But why do you ask? Because the outlaws knew, too. We had a pretty close call right after we crossed the border. You mean they tried to kill you? Well, they apparently had that in mind, but we uh, sort of discouraged it. Santa Maria. How is it that they find out everything and we take the utmost precaution to keep everything secret? There's only one answer to that. There's a leak somewhere. These outlaws must be pretty clever people. If we all work together, I'm sure we can round them up. I hope it will be soon, because unless these raids end quickly, we may have trouble between our peoples. You think it might be a good idea if we got some of the people together and explained the situation? An excellent idea, Mr. Cassidy. Señoras y caballeros, Quiero presentarle a la señorita Estrada en un baile típico del estado de Oaxaca. La señorita Estrada. Oh, 
¿Y este? ¿Ah? Yo es una huelga. Esto es muy verde. ¿Cómo ¿Mm? la manzana? ¿Tú? Uh, dice, espera, ese es... Aguacado. Aguacado. <risa> Tú sabes mucho español, muy... Ah. Un día, ¡ja! Sí, Vas sí. a ser puro mexicano un día. I've been preaching to my friends, both American and Mexican, for the need of understanding and goodwill. It's been my dream that someday your country and mine would know each other like this good neighbors do. You keep up your good work and I'm sure you'll see your dream come true. Yeah, if people on both sides of the border would only learn to respect the other's point of view, this trouble would all come to an end. You are right, Senor Cassidy. That's what I think, too. Bye, Cuddy. Have you got time, Bob? Yeah, I guess so. Señor Gonzalez! Señor Gonzalez! Señor Gonzalez! ¿Qué pasa? Los bandidos han robado las minas del Dorado. ¿Qué pasa? Outlaws have raided the El Dorado mine and they're heading back for the border. Night of my apartada, saddle up. You mind if we go with you? Of course not. We need every kind of help we can get. Take care of them, please.
Where have you been? Oh, I thought I'd head them off from the other side, so I took a shortcut. But I didn't see anybody. I guess we better turn back. Let's go back, boys. Small rice, Miguel? No, no, gracias, no. Ah, come on, put hair in your chest. Que pasa, Miguel? Why don't you eat? Please, chiquita, don't rush me. I must rest a little. You don't like my cooking anymore, huh? Actually, they don't appreciate it. Sure, sure, I like it. I like the children, too. But just now, I'm full to the nose. I don't believe you. I don't need it. Don't believe me. I'm sick of eating, eating. You don't want a man for a husband. You want a stomach with legs. I'm finished. I'm through. You can have him. Good. You like my cooking, don't you, senor? Sure. Pile it on, woman. I'll get you some more. Stop. Stomach with two. Gone, he burns me. You look worried, Mr. Cassidy. Worried? Oh, I guess I'm just sleepy. We're out most of the night. Yeah, we're going out again right now. You better not wait to supper for us. We probably won't be back till morning. Hey, California! Come on! You'll be right with you, Hoppy. Oh, shucks. Well, much gracious, Senorita. Uh. Ready to leave, McGill? What's the matter? Aren't you feeling well? I think he's got stomach trouble, Breezy. Well, how do you know, Doctor? Well, he tried to eat as much as I did. Then he is sick. You better stay here, McGill. I think I feel better now. You sure? All right, come on. Tell you, Chavez, we're doing everything possible to catch these raiders. I don't believe it. And neither do the ranchers who have been losing there. Look. What seems to be the trouble? Happy, this is Senor Chavez. How do you do? How do you do? Last night, those bandits robbed this back drain of 20,000 pesos in gold. 20,000? Where did it happen? El Rincón Canyon, close to the border. We'll get on their trail right away. Comandante, that is the leader of the gang that robbed me. You must be insane. Mr. Cassidy is the man that is helping me to catch those outlaws. But I saw him with my own two eyes, senor. It can't be. It must have been someone else. It was him, I tell you. That's why I was so surprised when I saw his shadow. What kind of horse was he riding? A white one. Well, that's the same color horse Cassidy owns. This is a very serious accusation. Don't mention your suspicions to anyone until I've done some investigating. Very well, Comandante. Adios. Surely, Father, you don't think Senor Cassidy is an outlaw, do you? Of course not, Chiquita, but... Oh, Miguel! Si. Miguel, did Senor Cassidy and his friends leave you alone at any time last night? Yes. My stomach, she was aching, so they left me by the Diablo Spring. 
Dad rode all by himself for a couple of hours. What's the matter? Is anything wrong? Chavez claims the Senor Cassidy as the leader of the outlaws. Senor Japalón? <laughs> Chavez must be crazy. I think so, too. But we can't take any chances. From now on, I want you to stick to Cassidy and his friends wherever they go. Do you understand? Si, mi comandante. They're heading for the El Rincón Canyon, right now. Go. Adios. It's hard to believe Mr. Cassidy is an outlaw. It's just a coincidence that he and his friends were out riding at the time the robbery occurred. Perhaps, Dolores. But the fact still remains that Senor Chavez insists he saw Cassidy. I'd sooner believe Chavez than Cassidy. But he could have been mistaken. Yes, it is possible. However, it won't do any harm to make certain. But, Father, how can you even suspect him when he's a trusted friend of Captain Hawkins? Dolores Mia. Trusted men have been known to hoodwink their friends. Mr. Cassidy may be perfectly innocent, but in view of the things that have happened, well... Looks like that hombre Gonzalez. I can't see his face. By George, I believe you're right. Hold it, Jim. You'll have him swarming down on us like a bunch of hornets. Check every detail of the case. We've got... Why, hello, Cassidy. Hi, John. You look like you've been doing some tall traveling. Yeah, and I feel like it, too. I've been on the go since yesterday morning. Any luck? No, we lost the trail on this side of the border last night. Tried to pick it up this morning, but no smoke. They're a pretty smooth bunch, and they ain't going to be easy to catch. Oh, pardon me. This is Ed Carson, my right-hand man. Ed, meet hop along, Cassidy. Howdy, Cassidy. Captain's been telling me plenty about you. Howdy. You say Carson? That's me. How long have you been with this outfit? Oh, I've been here quite a while. He's been with me for the last three years. <laughs> yeah? So you still have any idea who the Raiders are? No, and I don't mind telling you they got me pretty much up a tree. There's only one thing I'm fairly sure of. That is, that they're not two separate outfits, but one and the same gang. What makes you think that? Well, the way they operate. And they always seem to know just when and where to strike, on either side of the border. Come to think about it, Hoppy, you're right. But... Looks like more trouble. Who is it? Wilson and Cook. They run the Santa Cruz pack outfit. What's up, boys? We was raided again last night, 40 miles below the forks. We know who their leader is, though. It's that rancher, Gonzalez. Gonzalez? Why, you're talking through your hat. Yeah, well, it was him, all right, no mistake. What makes you so sure? We recognize the hat and clothes he always wears. He was riding that bay horse, the four white stockings. I'm positive you boys have made a mistake. Oh, I don't think so, Captain. Uh, thanks, just the same. I'll look into it. Say, keep mum about this. Yeah, we will. All right. What do you make of it, Hobby? 
Ah, from what I know of Gonzalez, it sounds to me like a case of mistaken identity. That's what I think, too. However, they were pretty positive it was him. Why, it couldn't have been. I've known Thomas for 40 years. He's straighter than a ramrod. Ramrods have been known to bend, Captain. He's got something there, John. Might not do any harm to do a little checking up on him. All right, Harvey. I'll leave it in your hands. And if you do find out anything, let me know immediately. All right, John. If you got any more word about Gonzalez, send me word, will you? I will. So long. So long, Harvey. I'm going for a little ride, Mother. Don't be gone too long. No, I won't. Find out on the quiet what a Gonzalez left on Hacienda last night. What's the idea? Just curious. Well, Senor Happy, did you have any success? No, we lost the trail again. Oh, it's too bad. But we'll get them. You bet we will. You men look very tired. Yeah, and hungry. Doggone it, I'm so empty I could eat a steer. <laughs> and I mean all of them. Say, maybe that's where all our stolen cattle went. It hasn't fattened them up much. Who, me? Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see anything suspicious? Not a thing. Are you sure he didn't lose the trail deliberately? I'm pretty sure. I was with him all the time. I said when he was off Captain Hawkins. Well, continue to keep your eyes on them. Si, si, mi comandante. Marge, a fine woman. Does she ever say anything about me? Yes. She does, huh? What'd she say? We're a little men do eat very much. But my mother likes little men. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Miguel, sit down and dig in. This food's getting better and better. That's just what I'm going to do. Come on, Saido, chamacos. I'm bien contento, eh? Que chulo. Que grande está ya, tan hermoso. Chata, trae para acá un plato. Oh, that chicken sure smells good. <laughs> oh, I, I know you always cook fine, thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's going to be all right. Tú también me quieres un bocadillo. Oh, tengo, mi hijito, tengo un bocadillo. Huh? Agárralo, toma. No sea tonto. Eh, venga. Ah. Ahora, bueno, sí. Eh, ya. Dos. Find out what I ask you to? Yeah. But say, what's an accordia? A, a what? An accordia. You mean an accordata? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. Every kid along the border knows that's a posse. Yeah? Well, then why don't they call it a posse? Well, anyway, Gonzalez was out most of the night with his posse. What's the matter? Something gone wrong? Those outlaws pulled another raid on the American side of the border last night. Yeah, but what's that got to do with Gonzalez? Two of the men of the train say they saw him with the raiders. Gonzalez? <laughs> they must have been seeing things. Say, you don't believe that, do you? I'd like not to. Hmm. Dile, muchachos, váyanse de la mesa, váyanse al corredor. What is the matter? California, why don't you eat? Look at Miguel, he has such a good appetite. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> that chicken is well. Come on, take some more. Very nueva. Well. Very fresh. It's looking at me that way for her. See something strange? You want to see you wiggle your ears like Miguel? Yeah. 
scratch kids play. Anybody could do it. Then you do it, senor. Sure I will. Uh, some other time, old. Why don't you show him now? I came here to eat, not to be insulted. You didn't do so bad, I think. Vamos a un buen, los chamacos. That's very pretty. Thank you. Miguel tells me you had a talk with Captain Hawkins. Yeah, I thought I'd drop in and compare notes with him. I hope it won't be long, Mr. Cassidy, before they're all caught. They've caused us so much trouble. Yes, I know. We'll do our best. Come on, Breezy. Rosita, acaba de llegar una carta para usted. Dásela, Miguel. Miguel, you read it for me, will you? Sí. Nothing. Someone wants to sell you a cow. A cow? Yeah, with a half or two. I go. I see you at the while. Bueno, hasta luego. A cow and a half. You're gone, that meal. It's me. Captured Rosita's heart. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, she just told me so. But she, she did. What'd she say? Well, she says, there's no man in this town like California. You mean that she... Yeah, you just win the whole thing. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh. You know, Hoppy, it's, uh, it's just dawned on me that I've been wasting my life roaming around with, with no place to call my home. Is that so? Yeah. And after all, what a man needs is responsibilities like, uh, well, like a wife and... Uh, and children. And chi... That's right, Hoppy. <laughs> and getting to it, uh, I, think I'm, uh, I think I'm almost old enough to settle down. Yeah, almost. You think so? Almost too old. A rolling stone don't hatch no chicken. No, and a standing cow don't get much fresh grass either. Who said it was a cow? Come on, chickens. Uh, kids. <laughs> they wouldn't understand. <laughs> hey, Hoppy, what's the matter with him? Uh, it's marvelous what a woman can do to a man. Yeah. Isn't it? 
Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send for me, Comandante? Yes. Several days ago, I told you to watch Cassidy and his friends. But you have failed me. Thank Twice this past week, you've been out with them at night. And on those very nights, two other raids occur. If you were watching them, how do you explain that? Oh, that's easy to explain. Easy? Mi Comandante, I have been with you for 20 years. Never have I failed you. No. They had nothing to do with the raids. I'm sorry, Miguel. Well, what do you think of Mr. Cassidy now? Three more men have recognized him. In some way or other, he has managed to trick poor Miguel. I've got a message for you from the captain. Thanks. Well, doggone. He is the leader of them galoots. What's Hawkins think now? The same as before. But I can't say I blame him. He and Gonzalez have been close friends for years. Yeah, that's true. Well, thanks. Any answer? No. So long. So long. Well, Hoppy, it looks sort of bad for the Commandante. Yeah. Well, we better get some rest. Looks like we're going to be busy again tonight. And from what I've learned, I've got a pretty good idea where those raiders are holding up. Good luck, Senor Cassidy. Come on, boys. Remember, if you see anybody leave the hacienda, let me know right away. Do you think you'll bite at the bait, Hoppy? I don't know. We'll see. Now, let's gather out. California, you stay here.
Commandant, what are you Never doing? mind about that. What's all the shooting about? We ran into a lot of outlaws back in that canyon. Wait a minute, you can't go in there. They'd pick us off like clay pigeons. Breezy, I thought I told you to let me know if anybody left the hacienda. But, Hopper, the only reason I didn't was because I thought that writer was you. I thought he was me? Yeah, he looked just like you from a distance, and he rode a white horse. He's right. I also saw the rider. When you and the others left, the hacienda, my man and I followed and kept watch. You did? Why? Because I was led to think that you were the outlaw leader. Now I see that someone is impersonating you. Well, looks like we've both been barking up the wrong tree. I've been led to believe that you were the head of those raiders. Me? Yeah. Apparently somebody's been impersonating you, too. Well, I guess we can forget about them. We better get back to the hacienda and maybe we'll find out who that somebody is. Here's where he first popped in the sight, Hoppy. And here's fresh tracks. Now well, they're headed up this way. What is this building? It's an old winery built by my grandfather. It hasn't been used in many years. Let's take a look. They didn't miss any detail, did they? Any idea who's been using this place? I never knew this room existed. 
Neither Dolores or Doña Luis. And Bob knows anything about it. Well, somebody around here knows it. How long has Bob lived here? He was raised here as a boy. Went away to school and returned several months ago. But surely you don't think... Oh, no. I, I was just wondering. Well, how are you going to know who that hombre is, Hoppy? Let him expose himself. The next time he rides out, he'll find us waiting. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. Whoever it is knows they've been seen riding away from here. They'll probably never use this place again. What do we do then, Hoppy? Just forget what we've seen and know. Shouldn't be hard for you to do. But how do you know it's him, Hoppy? I don't. But so long as we're checking on everybody, we might as well look him over. Hoppy. Yeah? From now on, you can get someone else to do your dirty work. I'm through. You'll quit when I tell you to and not before. Now remember this, kid. One false move out of you and you're sunk. Now get on your horse and get going. Go on. Blackman. Charlie. Guess we don't know him. No. Hoppy Wilson. <laughs> say, say, what are you? Well, hello there, Breezy. Hello, How are sir. you? Hi, Hi sir. Hi. Glad to see you. I'm glad to see you fellas. Say, what are you doing up in this part of the country? Oh, uh, just checking up on a few things. Oh, well, can I be of any help to you? You sure can. We want to look at some of your old wanted circulars. The older, the better. Oh, say, you came to the right place. I've got more wanted circulars than you can shake a stick at. Look at that, $500 reward for the captured Johnny Barrett. My wife spent that $500, and we never did get Johnny. <laughs> There's some more of them. There's some there. That fellow died a natural death at the age of 86, we found out just the other day. There you are. Hey, come on over here now, Hoppy, and sit down and make yourself right at home. Thanks. An awful looking guy. Why, suffering cat. That's him. Breezy, remember the Mexican mine owner that Gonzalez introduced us to? The one who said he'd be glad to help any time? Oh, his name's Cortez, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Now, here's what I want you to do. Hello, Doña Luis. Hello. Hello, Bob. Hello, Senor Cortez. Hola, Cortez. I haven't seen you in weeks. I have been pretty busy with my mind. Siéntese. Gracias. In fact, I am on my way now to arrange a gold shipment north. That's very risky, my friend. I wouldn't do... Those outlaws will never get the shipment. First of all, I am sending it over the old wagon road near the border. The one folks seldom use anymore. Secondly, I am shipping it in an old water tank. <laughs> 
Who will think that the tank contains a fortune in gold? A very clever plan indeed. Tell me, when do you intend shipping? Tomorrow afternoon. All the raids have happened at night, so... <laughs> well, I must be on my way. My men are waiting for me. Good luck to you. Thank you. Better get your men together and take care of their side of the border. I'll see Hawkins and have the Rangers take care of the other side. Muy bien. So we start popping in a minute now. Hawkins, how about me trying to get around behind you? You stay here. You know, Harvey, this road winds around so much, I don't know which side of the border we're on. Well, that don't matter. Gonzalez said not to worry about technicalities. people. Forgive me, Thomas. I, I had no choice. Bob became involved in a fatal shooting. But he was innocent. Mother. Oh, I'll be all right, son. The leaders of these outlaws forced me to ride with them. Disguised. First as you and and then as Mr. Cassidy. If I hadn't, they would have had Bob falsely convicted of murder. My mother, I didn't know that you knew. They've been blackmailing me, too. They threatened to tell you unless I kept them informed about the gold shipments, and I did because I didn't want you to know. Why didn't you tell me? You know I would have done anything to help you. <laughs> Mothers do strange things, but don't be too hard on him. He, he... Get some water, Miguel. I'll get it. Tell me, tell me, who were the men that threatened you? The leader is... Don't move anyone. Throw up your hands, all of you. What's the matter with you, Carson? You going crazy? Throw up your hands. That's right, throw them up. He's crazy like a fox. You're under arrest, Jackson. You can't arrest him, Hoppy. He's my best man. Yeah? Take a look at this. You can shear a wolf, Jackson, but that doesn't change your habits. There's the real leader of your outlaws. Come on. Well, they certainly had you two suspecting one another. They <laughs> certainly did. It should be a great lesson to all of us. 
Well, here's to our friendship and to our countries. May they never let anything destroy their faith or confidence in each other. Well spoken, Senor Cassidy. I'll drink to that. Salud. 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 Just goes to show what good neighbors can do when they get in and pull together. Yes, it does. No, but this way, please. You don't know how to... There are a couple of good neighbors pulling, but not together. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think I know. I got the idea now. All right, you put your finger there. Hold the necktie. <laughs> you better let me tie that, Miguel. See? <laughs> there we are. I'm so nervous, I feel like I was going to be hung instead of married. Well, let's say, say it's about the same thing. First, they put the rope around you, then they tie the knot. The do, eh? Yeah. Ah, oh, there comes your little family. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> So what's going on here? Well, there seems to be a slight misunderstanding. Yeah, but Meagle... Meagle. <laughs> Come here, Meagle. Meagle! Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Remember, good neighbors. Yeah. Just one. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>